Hey everybody, Alex from SeemsGoodMagic.com here back doing my first uh, Murders at Karlov Manor draft here. First ever, I haven't done it in person. I haven't even looked at the all the mechanics and everything, so it's going to be a learning opportunity for me as well. But why don't we look at the archetypes real quick? It's always a good way to kind of, you know, acclimate yourself a little bit to what you're getting yourself into. So we've got blue-white detectives get on the opponent's case with this fast mid-range strategy. Leverage detective typal bonuses to overwhelm your opponent's defenses and sacrifice clues to refill your hand in the late game. I like late game value. That's good. All right, clues control, blue, black. Use defensive, I like the name too, clues control, like cruise control, very clever. Use defensive spells to extend the game and generate clues, then turn the excess man to a card advantage that will bury your opponent in a mountain of value. All right, and then we've got black, red, suspect aggro. Suspected creatures have menace and can't block. Keep attacking with your suspicious creatures and your opponents will be helpless to stop them. Big disguise, green, red. Spin the early game, accelerating your mana, setting up a face down board state, then beat down your opponent's side of the board by flipping over haymaker after haymaker. Then we've got go wide, disguise, white, green, flood the battlefield with face down creatures, accrue impressive rewards whenever they're turned face up. Okay. Pint size, disguise, this is black, white, face down creatures bolster your strategy, which, which rewards playing creatures with power two or less and boosting them to become more impressive attackers. All right. Then we have artifact sacrifice, red, blue. Generate and sacrifice clue tokens strategically to gain a massive card advantage over your opponent, then chip away at their defenses by attacking with evasive thopters that bring death from above. We've got Grave Break. Wow, there's a ton of archetypes here. Grave Break, uh, black green. Use the collect evidence mechanic and raise the dead to support a long game strategy that gives you extra value whenever a creature card leaves your graveyard. Okay. Uh, white red battalion, this classic rab. Ravnikin, Ravnikin strategy adds extra punch to aggressive red and white creatures by providing a bonus whenever you attack with three or more of them. And then we have collect evidence, blue-green, rapidly fill up your graveyard and collect evidence to power up your spells while amassing permanents that reward, reward you each time you do so. Okay, well, quite a few archetypes, but a lot of times, you know, these early drafts where you don't know the formats too well tend to stick to the rares and uncommons. That's a general rule of thumb. But let's see if I can figure some things out. We'll jump right into it. We'll see in a moment. All right, draft is fired. Let's check out our rare here. We've got Outrageous Robbery. So two black and X target opponent exiles the top X cards for the library face down. You may look at and play those cards for as long as they remain exiled. If you cast a spell this way, you may spin mana as though it were mana of any type to cast it. That's pretty cool. So look at and play those cards. So we even get their lands too. And it's instant speed. I like that. That's pretty cool. It's like black card draw almost. Really, if you think about it. And you can, you can look at and play those cards for as long as they remain exiled. So... That card seems great to me. Uh, call a surprise witness, white and colorless. Return to our creature card with mana value three or less from your graveyard to the battlefield. Put a flying counter on it. It's a spirit in addition to its other types. That's not bad. Uh, knife, one red. As long as it's your turn, equipped creature gets plus one, plus zero, and has first strike, sacrifice, knife, draw a card. Okay. Nothing fancy there, but first strike and buff power, and it's a clue, is pretty cool. That's probably why you can sack it to draw. Makes sense. Detective Satchel, two, a blue, and a red. When it enters, investigate twice, create a thopter. Wow. Activate. That seemed good too, by the way. <laughs> All right. Persuasive interrogator. Six drop, five, six comes in, investigate. And then investigates an old mechanic where you get clues. Whenever you sacrifice a clue, target opponent gets poison counters. Ooh. Well, that's kind of cool. So sacrifice five clues with this out and your opponent dies. Not bad. Slice from the shadows. Can't be countered. Target creature gets minus X, minus X until their turn. Well, this is a kill spell that can't be countered. And... In and they even give you a reminder text, includes by the word ability. And target creature, and it can get by, it can kill indestructible because it's it's giving neg to toughness as well. And it's instant speed. I think we'll take it. Uh, Torch Witness deals twice X damage to target creature. If excess damage was dealt to that creature this way, investigate. Ooh, that's kind of cool too. But I think we'll take Slice from the Shadows instead because it's on color with our first pick. Chalk outline, whenever one or more creature cards leave your graveyard, create a 2-2 two -two white and blue detective creature token and investigate. Okay. Cool, cool. Undercity Eliminator, 5-drop, 3-3, three, three, enters. You may sacrifice an artifact or creature when you do exile target creature and opponent controls. Well, that's cool. So you get rid of your weakest dude, and you can sacrifice itself. You can also sacrifice a clue. This card's great. 
Sacrifice a clue. I'll kill your biggest dude. And it's exile too. That's pretty nice. All right. Toxic or toxin analysis. One black instant. Give death touch and life link. And then you get to investigate. Not bad. Basilica stalker. It's got disguise. So disguise is a new mechanic. It lets you play it basically morph. Um, and then you pay the disguise cost and you can put it up or turn it face up rather. So I'm not quite seeing the difference between morph yet. I'm sure there's some stuff if, Probably if your thing's disguised, you get some value, something like that. If this deals combat damage to a player, gain a life, and surveil one. Surveil is an old mechanic as well. Deadly. That's it. That's okay. Uh, let's look at the black first. So enters, tap, disguise. When it's turned face up, target opponent loses three life, and you gain three life. Does cost quite a bit to... It is a three mana, three, three, though, at worst, which is pretty good. And then on top of that, you can get some disguise value. I like that. The stalker, we saw this already. It's got flying too. That's actually pretty good. Oh, the disguise cost is cheaper. I see. That is cool. And yeah, that that's actually good value. I like that card. Uh, enter target opponent exiles a card from their hand. Okay, well, that effect is typically good. So red, destroy all artifacts you don't control. Exile top X for X number of artifacts put in this. Put a creature card exile this way on the battlefield. So with all the clues, I could see that being good. Um, I'm going to take one of the black cards. I think I'm actually going to take the flyer over the alley of Sailor. Just because the value on that seems really good to me. Gain one life and surveil one every time you deal combat damage to a player and it's evasive. That's nice. All right, Slimy Dual Leech. Four mana, two, four at the beginning of combat on your turn. Target creature control with power two or less gets plus one, plus one. Death touch until turn. That card's great. You can give it to itself. can give it to other things. It buffs. Uh, we've got a Disguise thing here. Gives lifelink and it's a flying lifelink itself. That's good. I think I'm just going to go, for now, cut black as hard as I can. And figure out the second archetype when we need to. Whenever another creature with power two or less enters the battlefield under control, target creature you control gets plus one, plus one until end of turn. Okay, cool. With all of the morph stuff as well. Another alley assailant. I'm fine with that. Otherwise, uncommons. We've got caught red-handed. Can't be countered. Gain control target creature. So it's the... And you get to suspect it. The new mechanic we saw. Uh, when this enters, destroy target token and opponent controls. Okay, and it's a 2-mana, 3-2 reach. That's pretty good, actually. I can see taking that over the alley, Assailant. If this pans out, that's that's pretty excellent card. I think this archetype, uh, what, did it, what was it? It wanted to like uh, fill our graveyard, or when we remove things from our graveyard, it's good. This only destroys tokens, but it can destroy big token creatures, or it can blow up... Uh, Clue tokens. All right, could take another one. I mean, two mana, three, two reach. I'm never going to be unhappy with that, I don't think. So we've got suspected stuff. Um, I think we'll just take another whip cracker for now. Let's see the other green card just in case we do end up green black. Uh, if face down creature entered the battlefield under control this turn, put a plus one, plus one counter on tunnel tipster. And it ramps. That's pretty excellent. That's really nice. I mean, it can only ramp for green, but that's still pretty good. All right, let's take the Whip Cracker. Presume dead. Target creature gets plus two, plus zero. When this creature dies, return to the battlefield under its con owner's control and suspect it. So suspected creature has menace and can't block. Good to know. Scene of the crime. Uh, you can draw cards off of it because it's a clue land. And you can add one. That's cool. Tap creatures to, to fix. Uh, this is a decent combat trick, I think. So we'll take it. Couldn't hurt to cut more black. All right. Let's just look at the blue because there's a couple in here. Enters, turn up to one target creature to its owner's hand if you controlled it, investigate. Okay. That's still pretty good. It's expensive, but bouncing is good. Um, I'm actually, I think I'm going to take the investigator just because that effect is typically good and limited. Hedge Whisper. One, zero, three, you may choose not to untap it. So you can collect evidence for exile cards with total mana value. So this is what this archetype wants to do. Target landing control becomes a five, five green plant boar creature with haste for as long as it remains tapped. Okay. Uh, another stalker. I think I'm gonna take that over the analysis. So you collect evidence by exiling cards with total mana value four or greater from your graveyard, okay. That's cool. So you can turn it into a 5-5 five, five plant creature. What's this public thoroughfare do? Enters. I'm just going to take it because it's the land. I haven't read it yet. All right. Unless you tap an art. Okay. 
Okay. Still a decent fix. This has more collect evidence value. Enters, if evidence was collected, put a plus one, plus one counter on it and gain two life. Well, good sign if last pick that card is a good sign. Create a zero one green plant creature token, then draw cards equal to the number of differently named creature tokens you control. Name creature tokens you control. Well, do we even have any other? I mean, the only one we have so far is uh, this inspector or whatever it was, wherever it went, that green card that spits out the four, four boar. Yeah, where is it? How come I don't see it now? Hedge whisper. Uh, aftermath and now analyst rather enters mill three. So we do want to fill our graveyard too. Return all land cards from your graveyard to the battlefield tap. That's kind of cool. Might need to the de detective here. Uh, Rot farm mortipede. Whenever one or more creature cards leave your graveyard, okay, gets menace and lifelink. That's cool. This is weird to me. I, I mean, that's a rare effect. We don't have that many tokens though. It seems like. You'd need quite a few tokens to really get value out of that. Could be missing something, but I don't know. Don't quite understand yet. All right, each opponent sacks an artifact. Each the sack an enchantment, or they sack a creature with flying. Well, decent value for one mana is a sorcery, however. Uh, get a leg up is a combat trick. That's actually a pretty good combat trick, though. It's for each creature you control. So if you're kind of going wide, that's... I mean, that's really good, actually. One mana, that's potentially... These one mana buff spells, this has been around before. Might of the Masses is the one that comes to mind. This can win games. Late game, it's like, I'll deal eight damage for one mana for you, instant speed. I guess I probably should have read this nuts card, but I'm just going to stick to simple because we kind of already have an archetype going. Creature tokens you control have tap, add one mana of any color. Whenever one or more creature cards leave your graveyard, create a plant token. That, okay, wow. Cool. Insidious Roots, like it. So maybe that's why I should have taken the rare because plant creature token is like a value thing for this archetype. Whenever another creature with power two or less enters the battlefield, surveil one. That's actually not bad either with all the morph stuff. Um, and then this is a rare cycle with surveil one, surveil one land. That's cool. We could actually play this uh, because the disguise cost is uh, green. But I'm going to take this Insidious Roots because it seems cool. Hopefully find some stuff we can do with it. Has Hexproof as long as it's your turn. Can't be blocked by creatures that don't have a name. Huh. Interesting. I like his outfit. Uh, bite down on crime. So this is... You may collect evidence six. The spell costs two less to cast if evidence was collected. Target creature control gets plus two plus zero. Deals damage equals power of target creature you don't control. All right. Well, this ramps... Um, I'm gonna take the removal, I think. Oh, actually, we gotta take. Never mind, we're taking murder. Guess I should have seen that. Well, it's all right, I did see it. Just a little bit. Like, <laughs> murder typically good. Very fitting for this format. A killer among us. When it enters, create a 1 1 white human, a 1 1 blue merfolk. One, wow, that would have been good with that rare. <laughs> then secretly choose human, merfolk, or goblin. Sacrifice the killer among us. Reveal the creature type you chose. If target attacking creature is the chosen type. Okay. That's weird, but you get three tokens out of it, so it's probably good, especially with get a leg up. And then agency coroner, sack a creature, draw a card. Oh, this is a good one. Yeah, that effect is typically pretty good and limited too. Another whip cracker. Well, I'm never going to go wrong with a two mana, three, two reach with potential upside. So I think we'll take that. Otherwise, fanatical strength. And another public thoroughfare which debating whether I'm actually going to play it or not. It depends. Probably won't need to splash based on what we already have. So bite down on crime is some removal. Otherwise, we could take the Mortipede, which does work with collect evidence because creatures are going to leave your graveyard, but I'd rather have the removal if evidence was collected. Um, let's just take bite down on crime. Not the greatest removal I've ever seen, but it'll work. Uh, probably want that. What does this do, though? Target opponent discards two. Reveals your hand two. Oh, that's cool. But I'm going to take the tipster because it ramps. Ramp is typically good, and it's got more upside because it gets bigger. Thinking cap. So you can make detectives get bigger or anything. Uh, could take that. 
Might take another public thoroughfare just in case we open something that I for sure need to uh, splash. Pick your poison. We're best of one, so we probably don't need it, but I'm going to cut green. I doubt we're going to main deck it. Um, they went this way. Guess we'll take this. I mean, it ramps, it fixes, investigates. A lot of good value out of this. All right. Corner. I might just take it because we have some tokens. So I could see taking that. All right. And then combat trick. Sure. Tireless tracker. Well, <laughs> there's a good one to open. Jeez. Yeah, this card is so strong. This was played in like Legacy and all that. So I forgot that there's like, I guess, special throwback cards you can open too. Jeez. So we'll take that. Wojak Investigator. Oh, that's cool. Wow, that's really good too. Another Undercity Eliminator would be amazing, but I'm not going to take it over Tracker. This this card just is pure value. So we'll take that. Gorehound. Um, once again, could take... We, we actually need some top end, believe it or not. But easy Tracker. I mean, can't, can't not take that. All right, Flourishing Bloomkin. Two mana, enter, plus one, plus one for each forest you control. Wow. When it's turn face up, search your library for two forest cards and reveal them. Put one in your battlefield tab and the other in your hand. Wow, that's a great card. Branch of V2 Gazi, turn face up, add two mana of any. Okay, so it's like a little disguise land. Okay. And then eavesdropper enters, investigate, you draw your second card each turn. It gets bigger, gains vigilance, fanatical strength, toxin analysis. But yeah, we gotta take this bloomkin. That seems great. We are two color, but it's two mana and you get value out of it for turning a face up so that seems good another stalker rope can't be blocked by more than one creature okay cob reconstruction return up to two dark creature cards from a graveyard to hand this this spell this effect is typically very good so i'm going to do that because if something dies it's actually two mana too yeah getting two creatures back is great i mean it kind of doesn't go great with collect evidence but that's okay uh, this goes well with the Collect Evidence plan, though. So we'll take that. This is nice, actually. It's a good card. Uh, so easy pick up there over the Stalker. Yeah. Repeat Offender. That's not really for this archetype, but what's this do? Enters, turn face up, target creature gains indestructible. Cool. It's got Death Touch. That's really nice. All right. Easy pick there. Rakish Scoundrel. Uh, wow, that's cool. Make things bigger and counter. Could take another Scoundrel. It's probably good. Otherwise, another get a leg up would be nice. But let's take the Scoundrel. It's Death Touch Instructable stuff. I like that. Um, pick your poison. Don't really care about any of this. Best of one, like I said, so it doesn't really matter. Could take another one of these. Um, this is more evidence things, gives counters. I mean, it's, it's not bad. It's not amazing either. Collecting evidence six to get that is, is not the best. Let's take this because I think it's, I have to really read it closely and make sure I'm understanding it, but I think it's pretty good. All right. We could just take this. It's, it's probably fine. Doubles as a creature is, is actually kind of nice. I don't think we're going to need the public thoroughfare. Um, we're already making cuts. I guess I can take the branches just to see if it's worth it. Those extra creatures. Probably doesn't hurt to have extra creatures. And then if you pay the disguise cost, it really only costs one, which is kind of nice too. Because it gives you two mana back. I guess we'll take the rope. Can't be blocked by more than one creature is actually kind of nice effect to equip three is a little pricey, but you can always sack it and draw two, so that's cool. Just take the uncommon. What else we got? We're on the last pick. I like the deck. We've got some strong early game. 
get some strong early beats. I think we... Okay, so we missed out on some late game... Some bombs, basically. Do I want the magnifying glass? It's not a bad card. It's a little clunky, but... We got some pretty good removal. We do have a tireless tracker. It's hard to go wrong with that. We have to make quite, quite a few cuts. I don't think we're doing this. I don't quite know if we need branch of V2 Ghazi. There is some incentive to... To go more forest driven just for flourishing bloomkin to be huge but even if it's a two mana two two is it really that bad no so i think it's it's probably going to be fine we can try out branch of v2 gazi we're a little bit color intensive though now that i think about it with three whip crackers that's true there's definitely some wanting to play this on turn two i'm okay playing 17 lands let me read a killer among us real quick so you get three tokens, then you secretly choose one of them, and reveal the creature type you chose when you sacrifice that. If target attacking creature token is the chosen type, put three plus one plus one counters on it, and it gains death touch. So that's kind of cool. You can attack with all of them, and your opponent has to block, and then you secretly chosen one. So however they block, you know, it, it's really up to them. But it turns into a 4-4 death touch. It's interesting. It's interesting. I think it's certainly interesting. All right, so we have some cuts to make. These are disguised creatures, so they can morph. That's just good for all these tokens we've got. Actually, yeah, Coroner is really nice with the the killer among us because you can attack with everything, and they block your one ones that aren't the killer. You can just sack them after they block whatever. Might cut the magnifying glass. I don't think we need it, and we have to make cuts anyway. This is good. Yeah, this is cool. Definitely. Bite down a crime. Good. Uh, the ramp is good. So we have to make... Certainly have to make some cuts here. Um, I think I'll cut the Presumed Dead. I don't think we need it. Might not need the Fanatical Strength. Because right now, removal-wise, we have Get a Leg Up, Combat Trick, which doubles as Kill Spell. Slice from Shadows. That's two. We have Murder. That's three. Bite down on crime. Four. And Eliminator 5, which also works really well with all these little token, dinky token creatures. So, okay. Yeah, that's that's a cool card. Um, creature tokens you control. So, it actually works with Killer Among Us. That's cool. We do have two of them. And when stuff leaves your graveyard, you get plants and then buff your plants. That, that could be potentially good. We didn't end up with that much uh, get stuff out of the graveyard, but that's okay. And then we can kill our opponents with their own creatures, presumably. So they went this way. Ramp. We, we really don't need the ramp, so I think we can dump this, too. I mean, I said we don't need ramp, and this is ramp, but this is just cheap and has an extra value with your, uh, your three drops. Oh, I put these over here. They should be here. It's two or less, right? No, it's... Is that what it was? It's face down creature. Inch. So we have these two disguise, these two disguise. So we have four disguise at least. I feel like we have more too. Uh, oh, I guess if I played the branch of V2 Ghazi, there would be more. But it's just for one card. I think I'd like to keep my mana base smooth. Playing Whipcracker on turn two, um, even if you don't get the token value, just having a 3-2 reach on turn two is is good. So I could play rope, but we have to. We're looking for cuts, so I think it's okay to cut it. Creature-wise, we have 17, so I potentially could cut creatures here too if I wanted. Definitely not cutting the re reconstruction. I like getting creatures back, even though, like I said, it doesn't really. It's not super combo-y with uh, evidence, collect evidence rather. But you don't have to collect evidence either. It just gives you extra value. And it does still synergize with effects like uh, Insidious Roots. Um, definitely want to keep the Hedge Whisperer. Keeping that, obviously. Keeping Get a Leg Up, Pester Leech, yes. Uh, let's see. So, I might cut the Inspector. I don't really need this. It's cool. But you just get to, yeah, it's not that amazing. It's got reach, but we don't really need it. 
We may have to find some cuts too, so I say we can cut it. I kind of want to keep our evasive dudes because we just don't have that many. So that means two more cuts. Um, I want to keep the coroner just for card draw, although not the best synergy with what we're doing because we're never, well, if the opponent suspects our stuff, but I, don't, I guess, are you supposed to suspect your own things? I, I guess the value is you can go either way. You can suspect your opponent's creatures to make them not block, or you can suspect your own creatures to give them menace, so it's sensible. Uh, it sounds like a well-designed mechanic, very versatile and flavorful. Um, I want to keep the Bloomkin. That's oh, there's another disguised creature. That's just good value. I want the mill because the mill's going to work with all sorts of stuff, the reconstruction and all of the collect evidence stuff we do have. So, admittedly, a little bit less exciting, but still definitely want it. All right. Well, I've got to figure out some cuts here. Definitely got to keep get a leg up with two killer among us in the roots. Um, I feel like. And it gives reach, so it's a random good defensive combat trick, too. I could get rid of by Down of Crime. We're pretty light on removal if I cut that, though, I feel like. It is kind of clunky if you don't do the collect evidence cost. It is a one-sided fight, though, which is nice. I want this because we don't have that much beef in here, and this actually gives us something beefy to fight with, and it has haste. So in order to attack with it, you need five lands. Because you have to do four tap this and then one of, and do an untap land if you wanted to get in for five. I mean, you could do it with four, but you want to attack that turn, I think. All right. Hmm. Let's see. I mean... I guess technically I could still do the branch of V2 Ghazi. Because when you disguise it, when you pay the disguise cost, you get two mana, so you could play the Whipcracker off of it. But like I said, playing... I guess the question is, are we a beatdown deck or a late game deck? We kind of feel more beatdown with two mana, three twos, and Tracker just getting huge. Yeah, it's true. Tricky. I could see maybe just, maybe we try one. Why don't we just do one? Just one. Give it a try. And still have some cuts to make. And it could be a creature. Although I'm. Kind of want the card draw of Coroner. Definitely want the Eliminator. Definitely want the Killers Among Us. So it's none of those. Definitely not that. Don't want to get rid of that. Don't want to get rid of any of my three drops. I could get rid of the Analyst, but that gets rid of the Mill aspect, which I don't love. And the effect seems reasonable to me, but we don't have that much self-mill. So it might just be kind of getting off the Collect Evidence plan. Which is kind of what this deck wanted to do, but... <laughs> um, yeah. I mean, things are going to die, so it's not like I'm not going to be able to use Whisper ever. That's true. All right, maybe we just dump the Analyst. I don't want to, but we still have the Fester Leech to mill... And I still have to cut cards is the problem. I'm thinking about cutting Bite Down a Grime, but I like it. It's hard to go wrong with removal. But I'm just thinking, do I like other removal more? Uh, hmm. Oh, I guess, yeah, Stalker's actually a way to get stuff in your value to, or your value in your graveyard because of the surveil, that's true. I don't really want to cut Bite Down a Grind, but I'm kind of at a loss of what to cut here. I don't want to get rid of Get a Leg Up. I think this often late game is one mana, like plus five, plus five, which is obviously good. 
I don't exactly need the tipster, but you never really can go wrong with, with ramp. Especially since we have actual X spells in here. All right, I have to make a decision here and I'm thinking, for some reason I'm thinking the bite down on crime. It could be the coroner. But it's one of the few beefy spells I have in here, so I, I kind of want to keep it. It's just a nice way to come back late game if you're drawing lands. Um, all right, I'm cutting the bite down a crime. Tough, tough choice, but looks like a fun deck. We'll try it like this. We'll see you around one. Ooh, we have a good hand here. Wow. Got our leech turn one, turn two, whip cracker. We don't, we don't get to blow off any tokens. We got a two mana, three two reach. Hopefully, get to mill some cards here. I hear my cat purring here. Our tireless tracker, it's okay, we can potentially get it back. Let's get the whip tracker down. Next turn, I guess we'll buff leech. Oh, never mind, we'll disguise because I can only activate this as a oh no, it's not even as a sorcery. Sweet, that's really good. a land drop here we don't have any creature tokens either so Let's get in there mm, well I can't flip it so I guess I can't do anything else really so we'll just uh, pump this dude well I wasn't gonna draw two or lands for two turns so I guess that's good I'm really uh, doing a number self-milling myself here. So it's suspected, so it can't block. Well, that's important. So... We'll just uh, probably do the robbery. That ensures that. So we'll have to do it. We'll do it on their turn. So, two lands, we'll take it. So, we'll play one of their lands. We'll get in. Oh, 
Oh, they have a word. I guess that's a pretty relevant uh, distinction, huh? All right, so we'll play the land, and then we'll just drop an agent corner here. Leaving up three mana for corner. Just um, let's just double block person of interest here. Deals four damage to our creature. Well, I can't sack itself. I can sacrifice another creature. That'll have to do. Um. Hmm. So I can kill something with the Eliminator, but I'd have to sack one of these. So I think we'll just get in for three here. And let's play the, can't sack an enchantment. That's too bad, that would be nice. I mean, I could sack the dual leech, and I can pay the word cost, but it's kind of just a wild guess. I'm at eight, uh, and they have four, five, six, seven. So they'd need at least a six power creature in order to kill me next turn, so I guess we'll decline. I'm gonna play a roots. We don't have enough ways to make roots good. Although, I mean, we have the two killer among us, I guess. Oh, just dealt damage, not dealt damage to an opponent. I see. Um, I'm gonna not block. We'll see what they got. Hopefully, not a six power creature. Well, I think we're dead, unfortunately. Guess I shouldn't have played the. 
because they thought we had something else. Alright, see you for the next one here. I, might, I think I might dump the roots. Let me look again. I, I probably don't need the ramp, and I probably don't have enough ways to interact with my graveyard to really get value out of that. So let's just dump it. Let's dump the roots. Because that was just kind of a dead card the whole game. And instead... Um, could do a presumed dead combat trick. But then you suspect it, so you can't block with it anymore, which I don't love. Could do rope. Do analyst. Could do the bite down on crime. Hmm. Maybe we'll do the bite down. We'll, we'll try it. Hey, this hand looks pretty similar. All right, we'll keep it. Start with that Fester Leech again. At least we have a good, good synergy with this Whisper. Nice. Sky's cost on that is pretty expensive, isn't it? Alright, well. I want to flourish it though. I'm just gonna buff the Fester Leech here. I'm just. Alright, got rid of two non lands. I guess that's good. Otherwise, I'm just playing a 0 3, which doesn't seem that great. Whisper, that's fine with me. All right. Otherwise, we'll do. I guess we'll do the bloom can. cast it. So we'll do Whisper plus Whipcracker here. Although I could do the Scoundrel, but I'm a ways away from that. Let's do Whisper plus Whipcracker. And we got to blow up a token as well. Take that. Yeah, I was gonna say. Alright. So we got our fourth land. So I can do the Wesp Whisper. I can only activate as a sorcery. But we'll turn one of our forests because we kind of need our other things. So I guess we'll turn a forest. Five five. And we get rid of uh I'm gonna get rid of non-creatures. It's got to be total mental four or greater, so this is two. All right, I guess we'll get rid of the tipster. And then we'll pass. All 
Uh, we don't want to untap that Whisper. Got another land. So I can... Yeah, we can do the... I can actually attack with this and... Yeah. Let's, uh... Because that'll be a... That'll be a big dude. We'll just attack here. Because I need the fifth mana to disguise it. Alright, so now we'll face it up. So we can jam a couple of these. That's pretty good. We actually don't have our double black, which is a bit awkward. So if I get him with everything, I think I'm okay with that. Attack with everything. I guess we lose our whipcracker this way, but that way they can't like triple block something either, which is probably okay. Um, and then we'll just, I guess we'll just play two more creatures. See you for the next one. Hmm. Um. I don't love this hand, but we have both colors. I'm gonna keep it. I guess I can't really figure out if we're a beatdown deck or a. Kind of feels like we're trying to be beat down because we don't have that much late game value. So I think that's kind of the maybe the one weak point of this deck, but that's okay. Surveil lands are pretty sweet. since I'm not really doing anything else. Although I can also kill... I guess we'll, we'll wait. We'll wait one turn. See if they play a disguise creature and I'll kill that instead. Whenever it attacks, you may collect evidence three. When you do, put a counter target creature you control. Well, that's pretty sweet. Um, I'm going to get a little far behind here, so I suppose I'll just kill this. 
This is gonna let them do their uh, sample collector, unfortunately. No, it exiles actually, doesn't it? No, no it doesn't. All right, corner, not bad. Might just do the killer among us. Could do the coroner too. Coroner's just a big body to get out there. Killer Among Us, let's set me up for Eliminator though. That kind of, I think, makes more sense. Ooh, basic land cyclers are pretty awesome. With, uh, collect evidence. We can do Eliminator and sack our merfolk. Blow up the Collector or some other huge dude they may or may not have. Sorry, right, we're building towards this robbery, this outrageous robbery, which will be really nice. So I guess the play here is so we're going to blow up the examiner because I can't afford to blow up the, and this gives death touch, right? But it has to be attacking. So I guess I'd rather blow up the examiner. Because it exiles too, right? Yeah, that's pretty nice. We'll sack this. Unless I did it wrong, but we'll see. You're meant to like trick them, but I'm not gonna. I don't need to trick them. So we'll probably do the robbery next turn for one, two, three, four, five. Get five cards. It's pretty good. It only has death touch until end of turn, right? Okay. It's an important note. Important distinction. I think we'll double block the collector. If they have a combat trick, so be it. Get it out of the way now. Oh, that worked out nice. Didn't protect it and didn't flip their face down the card, which is fascinating. 
so we can get another killer among us. Or we can do the robbery now. Um, I think we'll just do uh, coroner now instead of the robbery. I was gonna do robbery, but robbery's only getting better later and we still have cards to play, so let's just cool our jets on that one. Double block here. Right. Okay. So I think. Oh, reconstruction, that's nice. Pretty good opportunity to do outrageous robbery since they only have the one creature out. So I think I'll I'll do that. I mean, you get five extra cards to look at. Hopefully, find something pretty slick. I think it's an okay opportunity to draw five cards. Essentially, draw five cards. Let's see, seven mana of this. Um, hmm. Guess we'll do another killer among us. I think we'll actually play it as a land. Because extra land right now for reconstruction is probably valuable. too so it has to be double blocked that's gonna be tough all right well it's 
attack here. Nice little loot. A lot of residents examiners. It's a great card. Hmm. It's a nine mana. I do have enough to do this plus do the disguise stuff. I kind of want to play them both though. Um, we're at five. So I can get in for seven here. this face up and give the eliminator indestructible. Could have played the corner, but that, that seemed like good enough value to go for there. So it's solved, put four plus some plus encounters and non-creature artifact. Becomes a bird with flying. Oh boy. That's scary. Um, they only have three artifacts currently though. Oh, yeah, they're gonna have four now. So they're gonna collect evidence. Um, I don't think we're dead though, right? Wait. Four. So okay. So they'll have a four four. Flyer. Oh, that's unexpected. Um, hmm. Let's play the corner. Get in with Scoundrel plus 4-4. Four, four.
what the face down creature was. Vengeful Creeper, wow. That's pretty good. Alright, play the leech and then pass. So all they need is the buff spell and we're dead here. We don't have any reach, do we? Mm -mm. See why you'd think this had a reach because eating a bird. <laughs> um, I could sack the one one. Because it's really not changing the math. Pretty good. Um, let's do got up. We're dead otherwise, so let's sack the eliminator here. Oh, Whipcracker can block at least. That's good. Um, and I can still play land. So I can sack Scoundrel 2 because it's going to be tapped for at least a turn. Oh, I can blow up there. Oh, no, I can't because it's got X group. Oh, dang. <laughs> wow. Tap creatures control of X group is brutal there. Brutal. Um question is really do I sack the scoundrel now because it's going to be a tap for at least another turn well it's yeah because I could still find a pump spell and potentially win here so let's sack the scoundrel alright oh I actually needed the black mana there because of the way that it panned out but that's alright that's good Oh, two valuable spells. Sorry. Oh, I shouldn't have sacked it because I could sack the whipcracker here. But no, I was looking for a way to win. Because I do have the one mana, unless it's in my graveyard. I have the one mana. It would have been plus two. So it would have been five exaxes. We do have more whipcrackers in here, though. That's the good news. Two more whipcrackers to blow up there. But they're going to be attacking every turn. <laughs> that kind of works a lot. Oh, that's a cool one. That's an uncommon, too. If you would draw a card while your library has no cards and skip it, as long as there are no cards in your library, it's a 10 10 flying vigilance. That's a cool card. Oh, and then we drew it. Well, that's all right. That doesn't untap, too.
All right, so I, the only way to do this, it's still possible, so I have to attack, pump, get a leg up. Obviously, they have to block here. So we'll pump plus get a leg up, and then we'll sack it to coroner and find a murder and then murder their 4-4 on their turn. Guess that works. Still have murder somewhere in here, right? We do. to the outs there, just didn't quite get there. Real close. It's funny that Lost in the Maze tap creatures in control of Hexproof ended up ultimately winning him the game there. Because we actually had the way to blow it up. Alright, let's see for the next one. Let's see. Uh, no. We don't have both colors, and this hand's a little bit slow. We are in the draw, however. Hmm. Yeah, I don't love keeping this. How many green sources do we have? I'm trying to look here. We've got eight, nine. You can kind of count branch of you two guys. Yeah, I guess we'll keep it then. We may have enough draws to make this work. He played, I don't know, in the turn one or something. I thought this was four mana. Am I crazy? Sworn. I can bite down on crime? Doesn't get death touch too, right? Just menace. Hmm. So this might be a good turn to do the uh, coroner, I guess. So this is two mana. That's insane. I guess I hallucinated it causing uh, four mana. I had a violent hallucination. I would have sworn up and down and paid thousands of dollars to, to show you that. I was like, no, I, I'm positive what I saw. It was four mana. That seems pretty good. Nice turn. Jeez, just getting whooped. Bummer. stuff, huh? Um, guess we'll get rid of get a leg up and swamp. That way I can do eliminator, blow up mortipede, still block fester leech, I guess. And then I'll need a creature for bite down on crime. Bummer. That was a bad draw. 
All right, so we'll get in. Or leech, I guess. I'm still not quite sure how the turn progression worked out there. That's strange. They did a turn one tap land. So how did they attack me with two creatures on turn two? It must have been turn three. They're just completely hallucinated. Um, this. Leech. Fight down on ground. evidence, right? Or am I am I wrong here? No, it is four mana. Okay, good. Just close to two mana for some unexplainable reason. Is that a good card? Draw a card investigates good value. Perfect top deck there too. Wow, what a beautiful top deck by them. Just completely refill your hand. Uh, three or more detectives. Well, at least they're not super close to that, so that's cool. Uh, let's disguise this. Three. I don't want to kill myself, but I oh, guess it couldn't hurt. Gorgeous draw there. Gorgeous draw by us, too. So do I have enough to... Let's see. I do have enough to... Okay. That's good. Probably keep the leech back then, because I can't... Let's see, five, nine. So I do have enough to, I guess I'm just trying to be tricky for no reason. With, with nine, yeah, I don't have enough to play this, disguise it, plus. So we're just gonna cast it. We're gonna get in for three here. So I want to keep damage going here. Kind of fitting that I've passed a tireless tracker exactly zero times in <laughs> this sequence of games. Ooh, there's a good one. Yeah. That life being. Ooh, there we go. There's a good card to get. Yeah. Well, 
collect evidence. Uh, human detective, base power 4-4. Four, four. Collect evidence 4 becomes a legendary 5-5. Five, five. Other, <laughs> other creatures you can all have indestructible. <laughs> okay. Nice draw. Jeez. <laughs> uh, I can do murder plus... Uh, their deck is great, by the way. Jeez. Oh, it has to become a detective first. Let's see. Okay, that's that's good to know. Uh, I'll keep that. Like extra creatures. Otherwise, they can activate that collect evidence for twice. So we'll let them collect evidence first. Wait, no, that's not what I wanted. Well, dang, that screwed up. Oh, well, I guess that worked out. Is it detective too? Vampire detective, huh? There. What does it get with thinking cap? Just buffed, okay. And they're tapping. Oh, that's good. So we'll murder that. to blow up. Alright, well, they were drawing hot and they weren't dead there, but we'll take it and uh, see you for the next one. Oof. This hand, oh, we're on the draw again. <laughs> this one I think is pretty rough though. Kind of tempted to keep it. It's pretty greedy though. On the draw, nine sources of black too, if you count the thing, just two lands. One black spell, a bunch of green spells, but these are pretty late game before we get to them. I'm gonna mark. All right, this is better. And then I think we'll dump that. Sand is better, so I guess that worked out. Now I'm glad I didn't murder that uh, weird rare dude they had last game that makes all their guys indestructible. Actually, 
Yeah, because I'm not gonna block, so I guess we'll, we'll attack. I should have. I should have blocked. I probably just hard cast a scoundrel. I'm guessing. Oh, that's a sweet card. It's an amazing card. For a comment too. Alright, Whipcracker's nice actually here, so let's do this. No tokens to blow up, but that's alright. Um decent opportunity to flip it and survey all. I think it is. We gain life too. Uh, land. What does land do for me? So that brings me to six, which lets me. I think it's fine to get that actually. It's fine to keep that. Slice probably, or I could do the scoundrel. Yeah, it's better use of that. ways to blow up enchantments, do I? I don't think so. That's a good one. Not enough to slice that from shadows. Well, I don't have enough evidence collected either here, huh? Tough one. Well, Do whisper plus uh, killer among us here. Choose goblin. Can't really tack in and get the pump anyway. No, it's just attacking, right? It gets death touch. Okay, maybe I can. Can't block it. Let's see what it is. Is it the five five that investigates? It sure is. Great card. Fantastic common. A lot of value to be reaped from that. Okay. So we can slice. It's good. So. Whisperer now too, which is nice. Activate only as a sorcery though. Um, I don't need to do it now then. So 
So I can do Hedge Whisper. Oh, I can't do Hedge Whisper. That's right. So I could trade this Scoundrel. Or I can just do Slice from the Shadows now. Uh, trading Scoundrel kind of makes sense for Whisper purposes. Tracker. Maybe I should have been sandbagging lands, huh? It's probably true. All right, let's do tracker plus. Oh, if I do tracker and whisper, then I can't get the. All right, that's fine. Not a big deal. So we'll just do the whisper. Well, I can slice it. Otherwise, I could double block it and get rid of a token in my 5 5. And I can still activate another one and then keep the slice. But I lose on a land. Not sure if that's actually better. That's awesome. I love it. It's super good. They have three snoops? Oh, I guess that's a common. Bottom of my library is the get a leg up. Which should be one mana plus nine. Oh, we gotta get some value off tracker here, so. Let's see. Um, block. Yes. All right. It's acceptable. Uh, so we want to on 
range out now. No land, oh, that's all right. So let's flip this up, get a double tracker. This turn. Play the whip cracker, but maybe just getting a glue cracking business for now. If you change the battlefield, you control if its power is greater than it. Plus one, plus one, investigate. That's pretty nice. So you got to play the tracker. That's pretty sweet. All right, so we'll double block the snoop. Jump with the two here. Okay, reach. Good to know. Oh, Sentry's sure doing its job. Sheesh. Alright, so let's crack this. Investigate. That whisperer again. Play another whip cracker. And there's nothing to blow up. And leave up uh, another clue. for dual age. Don't have a murder anymore. Gotta have some removal left in here. Somewhere. Well, let's just uh Alright, so crack 
this. We have our own. Tap. Corner. Oh, at least we can sack the stalker, I guess. Although they have the mana to shuffle it. Although if we get shuffle, at least we get to. That's actually not bad. We'll play the corner. Maybe I needed to do the... Actually, yeah, we might need to do the Scoundrel here, huh? Yeah, I think we do. We need a death that's really helly. Got one good destruction. I need to get the 7 8 off the board now. If possible. At least they drew a lantern, that's good. Had to happen at some point. Yeah, unfortunately, the. The rakish dude uh, puts in a pretty tough spot here. I might not. Yeah, I probably need to trade scoundrel with the scoundrel now. I have something to get creatures back somewhere. be able to I think we can actually kill him with that soon here so we just got to be patient all right so let's just survive then so let's play the dual leech and pass cards left seven them drawing may ultimately benefit us to get us closer to this robbery because they're at 10 now I'll sack the stalker. They can shuffle it in. I wouldn't mind a shuffle anyway. Next 
turn is the robbery because we have uh, 11 mana. So we're actually <laughs> we're one away. We're one away. So we need to just live for a turn and then we're okay. So let's crack some clues. on my next turn I'm going to robbery. Hopefully they don't draw a counter spell or something. They can pay two to look, so they can do that on their turn. I don't mind if they pay two for that. See our branch. No biggie there. All right, so let's just crack this. Let's just do robbery for nine. They break the was serious lag there. Counter it. Yeah, because I could have done it when they were tapped out, so there might be some base down rare counter stuff, who knows? Oh sweet. Alright, got there. See you for the next one. Alright, yeah, we'll keep this. We need some land. Since Surveil is a nice mechanic for the set. Our deck actually gives you some shock out. I like this one too, yeah. It's a cool card. Puts out two twos. So I'll probably do the probably do the stalker. Cause then the scoundrel like in hard cast. Yeah, I'd rather do that. Probably rather 3 3 death touch. Not mess around with the disguise stuff. Although I could do get leg up. That's 
Trade my scoundrel for the mission. Better next turn with get a leg up if I do the Flip this then. The way it tapped either. I guess it's leaving up get a leg up, but maybe that makes sense. I'm actually going to block like this because I have the get a leg up and hope it's just the 5-5, five, five, I guess. Oh, never mind. Wait, what? Why didn't... I thought it got an additional plus 4, plus 4 counter. Alright, I guess I wasn't meant to win this one, guys. Sorry. Uh, drop the ball on that one. I was looking really good too if I would gotten that. Now I kind of screwed up everything. From a misclick too. Or misread. I thought it like turned face up and then you put four plus some plus some counters on it. But it turns out it just like immediately put the counters on it. There's no like trigger. It just turned up a 6-5. Shouldn't it like trigger put four plus some plus some counters on it? Like turning face up I understand doesn't go on the stack but I would think the counters would. I guess not. So I could have kept my guy alive, killed there. So that was just a huge, unnecessary board swing. And no one's fault but my own. So I'm going to play this as a land. And then I'll do... Uh... Yeah, that just kind of, unfortunately... Really puts us in a tough spot. No. Oh. Yeah. All right. Well, I screwed up. Not the way I wanted to uh, close out a draft here.
this. I killed an examiner. Get into the stalker surveil too. And because we gained life. If we didn't gain life, I probably wouldn't do it. Kind of surprised we're even. Four, five, six. Well, we need to take care of evidence examiner quite a while ago. Also, once again, did not tap the mana the way I wanted it to. So, all right, um, kind of disappointed with uh, my play in that one. Just clicked too fast and screwed up because I didn't realize turn face up, put counters on it meant 
counters immediately go on it. Like I said, I know face up means it doesn't go on the stack, but I didn't know put four counters just means the counters just go on there. Or maybe I clicked past it and didn't realize it. I don't think I did, but I guess I did. I don't know. Because it not turn face up 6-5. There was never a point where you could interact with it. So I guess turn face up means immediately put counters on it. There's no the counterpart and the face up. None of it goes on the stack. It's all immediate. So that's good to remember. I'm going to have to reacclimate myself to uh, face down, face up stuff. All right. Well, we ended up going 3 3. It was some of the hardest fought battles ever, either. And then still probably had a decent shot that last game. But they were drawing so many cards, probably not. But good to know about that evidence collector. That card is just ridiculous. It's like, it's basically an uncommon tireless track tracker, it almost feels like. The amount of value that he, they got off of that. All right, let's see what this does. Initial costs, collect evidence, Toma, spell targets, destroy an artifact, creature, enchantment. Oh, cool. Just blow up a bunch of things. For all the, but you have to exile equal to the permanents you're getting rid of. All right, we saw this already. That's good. This thing, suspecting creature, and you can return from a graveyard during hand. Oh, that's cool. So you can give things menace or make things unable to block. Granite witness. You can tap or untap creatures. Okay. Detective. Gets bigger. Demand answers. Oh, that's a cool card. Red draw, basically. Red herring. Uh, well, it's got to attack each turn, but it's got haste. It's cool. And then Sanguine Savior. Yeah, give lifelink. All right. And then the second one. Or, got three decks here. Just, just read your rare here. No witnesses. Each player controls the most creatures, investigates, then destroy all creatures. All right, well, board wipes are typically good. Might, they might get a card draw if you're getting more value out of it. Bone brew. Three mana, six two menace. When it enters, they get two dogs. It's a cute dog picture. Um, when it dies, each opponent loses three life. Okay, cool. I like it. All right. Uh, thanks for doing tuning in, folks. Hope you enjoyed it. We'll see you for the next one.